Welcome to getmeproject.com In our project title is Preventing Private Information Inference Attacks on Social Network and this project is mainly focused to prevent the inference attacks on social networks such as social, Facebook, Twitter, Akut, etc. Now we are going to see the abstract of our project abstract. Here, we focus on the privacy on the social network on the private information. Here, we want to know about the inference attacks. This means guessable information relevant to the specified objects. The inference attacks are prevented by using sanitation techniques. The sanitation techniques are details only, links only, average, and traditional EVBCM target. The important two problems are privacy information leakage and the privacy of the data release are avoided by our proposed work. In our future work is reduce the information leakage more effectively. The another one important thing is here we are using the details only and link only and average only removal. The details only removal means it is easy to take the one user profile and find out the sensitive values in that profile and it should be removed. It's called the details only removal. And links removal. Links removal means if take some more number of users profile and find out the sensitive users links and these users are relation getting relate in relation to the more number of users and that another users have this link means it remove that particular link only it's called the links removal then average removal means combined with the details and the links is called the average removal these details only removal links only removal and the average removal those data are separated and it should be stored in separate data repository and then these data are again and again monitoring and then these data are again and again put on learning stage in this learning stage to we again find out the any sensitive field in this data in that time that sensitive field is fine that should be removed by these details links and average now we are going to see the data flow diagram of this project the data flow diagram is used to explain how to develop this project and also it explains the importance of this project this is our data flow diagram in our project start by data gathering data gathering means in our project is based on the some input file this input file is collected from internet it's mostly based on the user profiles such as Facebook, Twitter and Archive. In this user profiles are collected from internet and then these input file is classified by using the Navy VCM classification. The work of the Navy VCM classification is used to separate the parallel and child units. After perform the classification, we find out the sensitive information on user detail and also the link details. In this user and link details too, we apply the inference methods. The inference method is mostly based on anonymization. Anonymization means it's not remove the sensitive information from the specified object, but it change the particular object values. After check and validate, we perform the anonymization. Now we are going to see the running procedure of this project. Before we going to see the running procedure of this project, first of all, we want to install some needed software for in this project, such as NetBeans and Server. NetBeans is act as the front end tool, and it should be run on Java platform. Then back in this RAM server, back RAM server is used for the 
temporary storage purpose now we are going to see the netbin stone this is our netbin stone in netbin stone we click the projects and choose facebook and source package and facebook and choose the n1 frame in this frame It's our initial fit preventing private information on our system. First of all, the collected information should be shown here. It is in another location. Choose data on file and load and view this that file then go for next frame and count the total profiles and attributes and perform the navy basin classification to parent node and the child nodes then we click the next and I get the auto perform we get the input file in correct order then we perform the parsing parsing is used to remove the unwanted things in that file then click the next and it separates the node links and details you know, nodes are parent nodes are uh, user names and links it's a user friends links and the details means user activity and user favorite groups etc then we introduce them potential classification labels and we'll match these labels to find out the sensitive attributes then we get the matched content this is our matched content then it's forward to perform the anonymization here we get the data before anonymization and perform anonymization it's our auto perform anonymization we see that then we get the use uh, sensitive users under their those links. Then we perform the user links removal. Sensitive user links removal. Then we get the result. And we represent this as a graphical. This is our final output. Thank you.